Michelle's on the line. Hi, Michelle. Hi, good, good morning, guys. Hi, Hi there. So, so talk to us a little bit about your fear. You've got a fear of custard. Mm, yeah, I can't even say it. It's just it vile. It's, it, it makes my skin crawl. It makes me wretch, the thought of it, the look of it, the colour of it, the smell of it, everything. You, and you, you can't say the word. No, not That's at why all. I said Absolutely it. I not. Read it. Mm -hmm. I read she couldn't say it, so I said it for yeah, no, you. Well done. Because yeah. well, otherwise we wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> no, I've got a fear well, about what it is. I would have the yellow stuff that you put on apple pie. Ah, yeah, there yeah, we absolutely. go. There's a way around and it. And it, it is, because, you know, we've known each other for years and years and years, and it is always extraordinary the things that, because you've always say you're only born with two fears. Yeah. That's right. Uh, fear of falling and the fear of loud oh, noises. Hold on, yeah. Um, and so, uh, so we acquire these things. How yeah. can this happen? How can you help? Well, well, this has got to be trauma related, I would have thought, because it is not something that's really and common. I must add in that, by the way, when you're looking for the origin of your phobias, for example, that's trauma in context. Because if something happens to you as a child, something that's traumatic to a, a child is, is sort of completely different to what an adult would find traumatic. So it's, it's, it's got to be in context. So there is always a trauma. Uh, there is always a, what we call the installation or the foundation. Uh, and it's, it's usually something, you know, from, from when you were little. So what could have happened? It was tr it was from my childhood, from primary school. We was forced to eat it, um, and it wasn't the best of the stuff uh, when I was younger. You know what I mean? It was lumpy. It was it, it, just the thought of it. It just <laughs> if you can get me over this fear, I promise you, I'll have a bath in it. Oh, that's well, that's, that's a but, challenge. That's a challenge that we're willing to take on. I've got to say, that sounds good. Um, so, OK, so the first thing that you've got to do, basically, you, you have what we call the installation. That's the foundation. And what you've got to do is you've got to challenge that installation to break it, because once the foundation's broken, the whole structure of that fear falls apart. So that's why we always go, right, let's go and see if we can find out where it started. So in your case, what I'd like you uh, to consider, Michelle, is if I were to come up to you with a role that newspaper and hit you on the shoulder with that newspaper why would you blame the newspaper because you hit me with it so it's the newspaper's fault is that what you're saying um look, no i'd say it was the people who forced me to eat it you exactly got it. Mm. exactly yeah. so what you've got to what we always say is look you've got to see it for what it is and not how it felt. You see, what I see here, and this might sound a little, a little bit odd, but I see both you and the custard <laughs> as equal victims here. Because both of you... <laughs> OK, sorry, yellow stuff, I do apologise. Uh, but you and the yellow stuff are on the same team here because you're both victims of that person that forced you to eat it in the first place. You think badly of it and it did nothing wrong. So you've got to apportion blame correctly. Are you all right, Philip? It was lumpy. <laughs> It was one pair that just... No, I just can't. Oh, not, even, not even when they changed the colour of it to the brown and the pink stuff. Right, OK, so very quickly... <laughs> very quickly, let me ask you a question. Who was it that created it and made it lumpy? Oh, well, uh, it was... I was in... I'll, I'll say I was in a Catholic school. Right, OK. So, so why... So what? What? who actually made it so bad? The cook. Right. right, exactly, Michelle. So <laughs> that's what we now need you to, to concentrate on and look at and realise that you got... And this is the biggest cause of a phobia of Brussels sprouts, by the way, and vegetables, because at school they're not yeah. quite cooked to how maybe as, as well as they could be. You know, obviously in some places they will be, but not all. And then the, we apportion the, the, the lacking skill of cooking to the actual product as opposed to the person that put it out there. Right. So we really need you to now start seeing this from an adult perspective, not from a child's perspective, realising that you're apportioning blame incorrectly. You're blaming the newspaper. I want you to consider that scenario. And uh, we will stay. Please do stay on the line because I really want to see you in a bath of the yellow stuff. And okay. we accept yeah, that yeah. challenge. If you can do that, I, if you can get this... <laughs> oh, God, it's making well, me sweat. You sound, Michelle, you sound but like... I'll Right, well, you sound like a northern oh. lass, so you're on our doorstep. So, so um, expect a knock at the door. And I've got to say, you've cheered us up. On you thank you. Well, thank I mean, you very listen, much. I am so, <laughs> so I, I sorry, Michelle, for laughing. Say, but that that really is, is just an extraordinary noise. Um, it's and horrible. It's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll we're gonna we gotta fix that as well. We, we will do. we will we, get we you in a, bath of in a bath of that stuff. Okay. Don't say it. The yellow stuff. The yeah, yellow the stuff. yellow stuff. <laughs> 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 right.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Bye. Oh, God, it's awful for oh, laughs like that. It's such it's a terrible it noise. It is. It is. But, you know, you get it. I get it. And it, it, it's, this, this happens so often. Mm. And it seems daft to an adult because you've got these two poles. It's, it started as a child. Yeah. So, as an adult, you can look back and go, oh, my gosh, you know, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't yeah. feel this way. And that's what she's doing. And yeah. that's what yeah. she's doing. But you can't help it until you change that origin, that schema, that behavioural reference that you that happened when you were a kid. Well, well you've, got to go, you've got to go downstairs and do a bit of work, then, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Let's do it in the okay. bar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, something we need to yeah. and, we, and that's definitely a, a picture we need on the telly. Oh, 100%. Uh, is, We're uh, on it. Is, um, uh, Michelle in the bath in. <laughs> you said you, you whispered it. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> right. <laughs>